Blog and Khachadur Yan, the Minister of High Tech Industry is expected to be chosen by the ruling civil contract party as the candidate for the post of President of Armenia. In 1996-1998, Khachadurian was a political associate of ex-president Levander Bedrosian, while Khachadurian held the position of advisor to their Bedrosian. After the revolution of 2018, he began to work closely with the ruling party. On August 4, 2021, Bagan Khachadurian was appointed Minister of High Tech Industry. Turkey has long ways spoken about establishing relations with Armenia quote-unquote unconditionally. However, so far there are other opinions inside their political circle. For example, the chairman of the True Path Party of Turkey has made a statement in connection with Armenian-Turkish relations and noted that these relations should not be established without Armenia refusing Armenian genocide recognition demand. Çetin Özacıkgöz noted that Turkey is getting ready to normalize relations with Armenia, but he insisted that establishing relations with Armenia without the latter refusing from the demand for the recognition of the Armenian genocide is against Turkish patriotism, and the Turkish foreign ministry should discuss this matter well. Armenian opposition representative slammed the resolution adopted by PACE on Armenia's democracy. Although the authors noted some shortcomings, in its resolution PACE noted that Armenia has made progress in the development of democracy. PACE did not react in any way to the use of administrative resources and other violations recorded during the pre-election period and on election day, the illegal arrest of three opposition MPs, the unconstitutional restriction on the vote out opposition MPs, and political persecution, the opposition party noted. In its resolution, PACE touched upon several issues, including Armenian elections. Although the Assembly praised the national elections held in December 2018 and June 2021, Pace deplores the political climate in which the June 2021 elections were held, which was characterized by strong polarization and marred by increasingly inflammatory rhetoric from the main participants. Pace did not bypass the topic of disinformation after the conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh. According to them, Armenia also faced an unprecedented level of disinformation and hate speech during the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. The third president of Armenia, Ser Sarkisyan, gave an exclusive interview and touched upon the Nagorno-Karabakh crisis. The interview will be presented in detail in our next digest. Femi Kuru, a former journalist of Turkey's Zaman Daily, has stated that President Recep Tayyip Erdogan may change his current foreign minister. Kuru wrote in his personal blog that Erdogan, who makes all his decisions by considering elections, may change his ministers before the next elections, according to the Turkish journalist. Taking into account the foreign policy realities, Erdogan may replace serving Foreign Minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu due to these elections.